open. So we're leaving Aviles. Smile, Manchi. Huh? Wapa Manchi. Wapa kita ni. Kita kili tu malang. Asian. Asian mix. In a twist of event, we book a very pricey hotel for program standards in a town considered to be the jewel of Costa Verde and it's not even on the Camino route. And it's not it's further beyond the recommended stop for the day, so it's, we're gonna make more than twenty miles if we have to. So if you have been to Cinque Terre or Cinque Terre in Italy, you will love this place. It might be a tourist magnet, but locals still make their living mostly out of the sea. As a pilgrim though, is it worth a pilgrim's penny? Let's go and explore Costa Verde. Our scripture for today is taken from Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 to 27. And when he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm in the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save, Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, why are you afraid, O men of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this, that even winds and sea obey him? Pastitas, sorry. Gracias. A las ocho y media, Santa Misa. Ahora hay misa ahora. Ocho y media. Ocho y media. Ocho y media. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Ahí tengo un taxi mexicano. Sí, sí. Gracias. Oh. I don't know if I can Should be the next boat. No, but happy to go, Misa. That is true. 
Yeah, it's like two minutes before <laughs> the mass. to the tunnel so look at this building it's beautiful very well designed gracias gracias Hola, me decía. So we're going through this forest for, I don't know, maybe two, three miles already. And look at this, it's a thick forest. That's the river. Training again. As you can see, Cordillero is a harbor rather than the beach resort that we got used to in northern uh, in the northern coast. But there's, of course, there's a beach nearby. Uh, although tourism is big here, fishing is still the bread and butter of the people.
so this is Cudillero, the cutest town in Astorias. Unfortunately, we came here during the rainy season, so you can see it's all hazy and rainy. <laughs> that would be too bad. Ooh, I like it. Look. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hola. It's kinda chilly. It smells bad. Why did you have to take me here? No, it's another apartment. <laughs> That's why I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Lang harbor. Na, na, what na time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do you want? Mm -hmm. That's the church. Ah, papanta. See you at the Asturianos. 
Our reflection of the day number one. When do I feel abandoned and being drowned by the waves? Reflection of the day number two. Did I ask Jesus to save me? Our Camino Miracle of the Day is walking uh, to Codrillero, which is a very steep downhill at the end of the day. When we got to Moros de Nilon, we, uh, we, we intended to take the bus because we're very tired and we got many miles already and everything is hurting. But then there's no bus. The, the Google says there is, but no, the local says it's not. There's no bus. So we walk about more than a mile to get to the train station and decided to take the train for about two miles and walk again for almost two miles from the train station. More than a mile, one, one to two miles to Cudillero. And then we got to a very steep downhill and a steep uphill towards our hotel. So that's our miracle for the day.
You can watch and prep yourself for what terrain you're gonna encounter for that day, but I believe it still shocks you when you're finally there in the Camino. It may be a good day in the Camino or not a good day, but it's all part of the experience. Today's stage is supposed to be two stages, but we decided to just do it in one stage. Was it a good decision? Bastante curioso? Vamos! Oh no, the arrow goes left. Our scripture today for today is taken from Matthew chapter 16 verse 13. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that the Son of Man is? Oh yeah. Okay, okay, right? I'm going to take Madura. It's a Madura, mommy. That's the first place in Spain. It's up high in the mountain. And it's not really green. Oh. It's pretty high in Astoria. That's pretty tall. Oh, you what an engineering marble, though.
Kau mati. Tangan uh, dekat sini. Gak tahu. We are in Soto de Luenia. At around 11. Look at this, our lunch for today. It's huge. Babada. And I have to see the This place, this church, was built for the pilgrims in the 15th century. <laughs> ah? <laughs> ah, you see Santiago. Yeah, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Alright, put your arms around him. Don't don't be don't be shy. There you go. Alright, one, two. Alright. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. One, two, all right. This is probably that way. You're right. That yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me reassess this. Why is there a Camino sign on the out there? Oh, gracias. Ah, <laughs> gracias. Say again, yeah. Ah, I see. Ah, let's just go straight. Piyok piyok ko lang kana niya. Go straight, mommy. See.
Hi. Good morning, goat. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. So yummy. Can you say hi to Audrey? Hmm. Ah, it's so cute. And measles vaccine laid at the Bible. Uh, so we've been walking for almost eight hours now. Tired, cranky, sticky, feels so hot. We've hiked 15 miles so far. And we are still about, I think, more than a mile from our hotel. But this what's uh, what we see. There's a little beach down there. And there's that limestone formations. We came from there. And there it is. Hopefully we're not that far anymore. As we get closer to Cadavedo, um, the terrain becomes worse and worse. It was going up and down. Uh, the knees were hurting. Uh, our cardio is being tested. But a little, you know, reprieve for the one of the worst days, the most tiring days in the Camino is, is that there's a lot of streams. But overall, it was just a terrible part of the Camino when it comes to, you know, um, stamina and, 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 and physical limitations. So tip of the day, take care of your knee. Uh, at this point, I realized that I should have brought the, uh, you know, those uh, wearable braces for your knee that, you know, compressed your knee so that it would be better. I should have done that. No, no one. Careful. Pull first. Pull first. Pull first. Section of the day. Why did St. James chose Spain to evangelize the South America? It was the end of the earth. Reflection of the day number two. Is there growth in my faith in walking all these caminos?
Ooh, this is way better. Our Camino Miracle Day 27 is not skipping, not skipping the craziest cardio workout in the Camino. Uh, we know that, you know, instead of doing, we know now the reason why people uh, make these two stages instead of one. Well, it was too late. We already did it and it was uh, a very hard workout for our knees, but at the end of the day, if you look at it, uh, it's still a pretty, very pretty route, and uh, you go through the edge of the coast. So you and you you go through forest. So that's a reprieve from our feet from the concrete of most of the Camino del Norte. Get it. 